Welcome to the video of uh, Farm Dogs. Uh, this YouTube channel is going to be about how me and my dad go throughout our work day, uh, just carrying a camera with us, filming everything that we do, and you guys will see what we do on a daily basis to being in the shop, to working with cattle, feeding cattle, to farming later on. Uh, it's just a wide variety of stuff we do. So hopefully we can get some good content and put it on YouTube and enjoy the video. Thank you. Gonna go check some water drinks. <laughs> Been doing it for about uh, about two weeks now. We've had some had some bad weather here. Uh, we're kind of in western Illinois, so I don't know freaking snow and all that gross stuff. But take you along. We'll walk through the lots and show some of the show how we feed the cattle every morning and. Uh, We'll see if we gotta fix anything today. That's how we feed our cattle. Uh, old 98 1994 uh 7800 john deere and then it's just a roto mix uh wagon and uh feed them once a day just once in the morning so they usually get their their nutrition and stuff like that from the feed that we feed them just once a day so, but like i said we check every drink and see if it's frozen. We just got some frozen, freezing rain this morning. So everything's kind of a little slick. But I'll show you, we'll walk through the barn here. Good looking calves, these are mine. I think I got like 56 of them. Pretty good looking calves. But just check the water drinks, that's all we do. And we'll make sure. Richie drinks, actually these, all they do is got a little heater in the bottom of them they plug them in and that's that now for the to feed we call this the north barn to feed this it's about 120 foot of bunk just with a belt feeder and then of course there's a belt here a belt feeder that feeds it from there and then in here the uh inside the barn we pull inside the barn and dad just rigged up when he moved into this place an old fertilizer belt. It takes your feed, dumps it in the horizontal belt, takes it over to the feeder, and feeds it out to the calves. And I'll show you, he's he's just finishing up with his cattle where we just got a drive-through drive through barn that you can feed your cattle with. Like I said, he should be heading this way soon, so. Mixing feed's a big deal around here. Uh -huh. All right now we got 23 bales that we're mixing up in that mixer and that's what makes the feed that we feed out to our cattle. Now that the cattle are fed, we're gonna to slip to the shop 
and uh, try to get some work done in there. Got a windshield wiper today. Uh, it stopped working right when the snow hit. So I've never actually changed one of these, but it sits up here in the front. We'll pop that, uh, we'll pop that plastic uh, cover off and see what we got. I ended the video uh, all I did right here on the Ford here's your motor right here that I'm pointing at and uh, this linkage was shoved all the way up here wouldn't cut over center so what I did is I just took this side off and uh, that arm had there's grooves and a, a teeth that it slides on that locks on well sometime during the winter I had pushed that and knocked it over the teeth that it originally was on so I took that off, pounded it back on, and then moved this back to the to the uh, right location. So should put them on, or put this other wiper on, and I should be should be good to go. Okay. Why isn't that clicking? Why isn't that clicking? <laughs> truck is not fixed. I'm gonna have to get a new one of these because all the ribs that are holding that on are completely ate off. Just got one of our livestock trailers hooked up to a guy. He bought two of them. He, he just stopped by and leaving now and he said sometime probably this week or next week he's gonna come get this one so hate to see it go but she gone now Today was a big day. We got all my welding done on my A-arm straps. Put two, put two up there, and then I attached two down here. The rules say two A-arm straps per A-arm. So got them done. 
but the big thing I got done today was got the bumper on. It's pointy. I'm not for sure what, what it actually is, but it's a manufactured bumper. And of course on them Fords, your tabs, the rules say you cannot move your tabs. So they're in the stock, but we, we hard nosed it and uh, tilted it back just a tad bit, if you can see, to get the height. But it's coming along pretty good. Like I said, we got a couple more things. We get a 14 inch bumper bracket and I weld them on and then uh, we're ready to put the motor in and I'm about ready to put the body in. So after about this week, we should have the body up on and should have a motor in her. So she'll look like a derby car here in a little bit. Your oxygen. Yeah, you have to turn off. Oh, damn. Just got done feeding about uh, 10 o'clock now. Uh, it's pretty crappy outside, so I think the rest of the morning I'm gonna slip to the shop. Like I said, can't really do much outside. So probably slip to the shop and uh, either work on derby cars or we could find another project in there. But uh, like I said, we got uh, Capital City Carnage coming up in uh, March. So it's the first weekend in March, very, very first day in March. So if we can get derby cars done, and like I said, nothing to do around the farm today with this, with this crappy weather. Can't really work outside, but we're starting to get a little warmer and uh, <laughs> hope and pray that we don't freaking wash away because all the snow's melting and it's rained about almost an inch last night. So hopefully we, we can get through this week and Hopefully next week we can start hauling grain and uh, I'll bring the camera along and show you how I do all that and we'll be back to working actually, not just surviving.
Saturday. Uh, woke up this morning and uh, fed some cattle in the morning like we do every day. You got to get up and feed them. We usually try to get done before 10 o'clock so then we can have the rest of the day. And uh, nope, just got back from my little brother's basketball game. Uh, we were going to go in the shop this afternoon, but it's always good to have a personal day. I'm going to check some cameras. Uh, actually pull one. I live on a little 22 acre lot here, right across from where uh, we uh, we feed cattle and are in the shop and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm gonna pull some cameras. I got another like 10 or 20 set up for our hunting business. So these are just my personal pictures here. So I'm gonna pull that camera and see what it see what it's got on it and see if we got any sheds that might be able trail to get camera that. here. Like I said, the, the acres of woods ain't very big back here, but I've gotten quite a few deer on this trail camera. And of course, like I said, there it sits right there. And uh, actually my little brother shot a doe. I don't know if you can see them, if I can flip the camera, but there's a stand right there. And then there's another one on this tree over here. And he actually shot a doe down here uh this year it's pretty big doe uh but no there's our trail camera i'll get it pulled off and look at the pictures and like i said we'll see if we got any sheds thanks for watching hopefully that gives you a better idea what we do around here with the cattle and the uh being in the shop and all that next week we should be hauling grain that's just another thing we throw in on top of all what we do uh that and farming and it kind of all just flows together around here so that'll be the other video. Like I said, I plan on keep on, keep on keeping on, just keeping the videos coming and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.